Some analysis now from foreign affairs expert Nabojsha Malich joining us live from Washington. So do you expect that there will be any official reaction from Washington? Um, I expect Washington to continue demonizing President Putin as an aggressive Russian nationalist or whatever they will invent this week. Um, the, the reason he's been so blunt in this latest speech is that he's been saying these things for years, just much more politely, and nobody here has been listening. So, uh, and if even if they have been listening, they haven't been paying attention. Uh, so I, I don't think they will. This will change their policy at all. Unfortunately, I wish it would. Why make this speech now? Um, I think at this point, um, winter is coming. Things have reached a certain threshold in Ukraine. The, tr the ceasefire may be holding, may be breaking. Uh, there's an election coming up in Kiev. There's been a, a sort of a propaganda offensive in the West, exemplified by George Soros's latest piece, calling for an all-out war against Russia. Uh, it's a warning to the Western elites to stop playing with fire and start getting constructive. Otherwise, they're going to tear down what they've built. Now, uh, Putin once again uh, stressed that the West, he said, should stop heeding, playing double standards and stoking extremism for its own agenda. Do you think anyone in the West is likely to pay heed? Um, there are some circles in the West that are open to actually seeing reality. Unfortunately, they're not exactly very close to corridors of power. Uh, we'll see what happens. I mean, and it's far more likely that real change of, uh, in, in political thinking will come from Europe than, than it is uh, here in the United States, unfortunately. Uh, but there are, there, there are some people who are listening. Unfortunately, they can't do very much about it. Well, Putin said that Russia is ready for dialogue. Is there a chance for compromise between Moscow and Washington? Um, well, just as the bear doesn't ask permission, um, Washington doesn't compromise. It's been an article of faith in American politics for more than two decades after, you know, since the end of the Cold War, but long before that um, America doesn't make deals, it commands. And so I don't think very many people in the American mainstream will be interested in any sort of negotiations. So Putin stressed that international security institutions should be preserved. Uh, what do you think should be done there? Well, that's a, a sensible proposal and uh, ru directly counters the accusations that Russia is being some sort of revisionist power seeking to undermine world order. It isn't. It's seeking to preserve it, as opposed to people who should be self-appointed guardians of that order that have done everything to tear it down. Uh, the sensible thing to do right now would be to open up a dialogue with Russia, de-escalate this entire situation, stop sponsoring Nazis and extremists around the world. And, and start creating some sort of global security framework. I don't know if the political elites in this country are ready to do that. Namoy Shemalich, frequent RT guest, thank you again for your time.